Hey guys, how are we? Happy Friday. I've missed you all so much. It's been a week, but it's been too long. It's yes. been entirely too long. Hello, YouTube as well. Please hey, hit boo. the subscribe button on that Roscoe's Tavern icon so you can get all the notifications for when we post our viewing parties and videos. It'll be later. So um, I know y'all may have heard we have some really special guests in the house tonight. Oh, oh my God. We have already been kicking upstairs, so tonight is just going to be so much fun. Amazing. I cannot wait to laugh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Coming to the stage first, you may recognize them from RuPaul's Drag Race, season five. five. Oh, bitch. We are 30 seasons in now. Forgive me. Okay. From season five of RuPaul's Drag Race, as well as All Stars 2, she is a legend. Give it up and make some noise for the dancing diva. Alyssa Edwards! Hello! Ooh. Bitch, she's here, honey! Y'all better show us some love! This bitch said 30 years later, I said, is she aging me? <laughs> Y'all got me in a fucking alleyway in Chicago aging me? No, 30 seasons, not 30 years. 30 yeah, seasons. if I was 32, 30 years ago, bitch, <laughs> you aged me. That's all right, though. How does she look? She looks good. Oh. Correct. It's correct. Okay. This is the price is right. I'm ready. All right. Yes, yeah. you win, bitch. Is this lawn furniture? Alyssa. Yes, ma'am, it is. YouTube will have Now, bitch, I know I'm from Mesquite, but damn. Y'all went to the local big lots to get this bullshit. And it was on sale. And now, it was Roscoe's, on sale. Now, Roscoe's, I know y'all make... Y'all got a... Y'all got a big lots here? No. Okay. We got Marshalls, bitch. We got a family dollar in Mesquite, bitch. They sell this shit right here. Girl, I thought I went to sit down and almost sat on the fucking ground. <laughs> Y'all ain't got a booster for me or something, damn. <laughs> hey, bitch. The glamour is real in Chicago. Let's Come on. Let's go. Call this home. All right, our next special guest coming to the stage, you may recognize them from season 10, one of your twinners of All Stars 4, and they're on this current season of All Stars 7. Hopefully this bitch makes the finale. Give it up and make some noise for Monet, Monet Exchange! Exchange! God bless you. <laughs> Girl, they have me and Alyssa here. Y'all gonna eat good tonight, okay? <laughs> Two bitches that can't shut up and overshare. It's Bitch. about to be crazy. Clear your plates. Get Ooh. your forks, Roscoe's. Oh, oh that's the that's, chair. That's the <laughs> Girl, what in the Ikea is happening here? I, this Was this isn't assembled even by Batty Davis? What's going on here? <laughs> Set the left cheek towards the back, the right one on the edge. That way your legs don't fall asleep. That's how you do it. Yep. Oh, okay. There you go, girl. Yeah, there's a technique. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Are you drinking a house of love? Ooh. What flavor do we have there? I'm getting paid for this, so. <laughs> <laughs> More like the house of production, Tonight okay? Tonight is about to be a lot, a lot. Are you guys ready to have some fun with us? We all highly encourage you to drink heavily. Let's have lots of fun. Let's laugh. Let's see these girls do their damn thing. We're going we're gonna to ask you lots of questions later. We're going to go on some rants, I'm sure, with Alyssa. And um, we'll have lots of fun. <laughs> Alyssa and I go way, way back. We competed together back in 2009 for Miss Continental. Do you okay. remember that, sister? You were on... No, I don't remember that. <laughs> You were in the 12. I didn't make the 12, but you, you made the 12. 
But it was it was um, Sunny Delight, and then it was me, and then it was you. I remember. Can I tell y'all a fun fact about that? Yes. I did that park bench talent that's on YouTube, and I didn't. Ha we could not find me. I guess this furniture store didn't <laughs> exist back in the day, but. <laughs> We couldn't find me a park bench, so my um, gay kids went and stole me a park bench out the Chicago park. <laughs> they returned it though, okay? They returned it, but I had to borrow a park bench. That's amazing. Yeah. From Mesquite. <laughs> From <laughs> Mesquite, <laughs> bitch. From Mesquite. All right, well, not Shangela you... going to the park and stealing benches. This is, is she, no, Shangela is what? your drag sister, not your daughter. Da is she your daughter? But it uh, wasn't her, though. Okay. It wasn't her. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, uh That's all I remember about that pageant, and I was a lovely sixth alternate that night. You're consistent. At least you're consistent, Alyssa. So great job there, Diva. Look where you are now, girl. You think you're clever, don't you, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of clever... Get it food, bitch. Ah, wait, yes, we do have food. Are you hungry? Okay, she says save it for later. Roscoe's, we're gonna get into this and see how the girls do. <laughs> DJ, I wow. enjoyed that. Um, so how are we feeling when we're coming back from this and you find out the next week, um, three stars are gonna be awarded to whoever is the top two this week? Well, you know, when we were there, okay, full tea, right? We're there this whole time and in the middle of the show, they had this twist where um, uh, when Jinx and Raja won, they got to give a star away, right? So the whole time we were just anticipating some other crazy twist coming along at every like the entire time. So when we came up to this point and Ruth told us this, it was like a little bit of a gag. Like we was like, bitch, we had 89 episodes for some more twists. Y'all wait to the very last one to give us the juice. You know what I mean? But it was it still made it exciting and how they explain it to us. They're like, this is the talent show. Like this is the thing that you got to prepare from home and bring here to bring to bring to us. So they felt like this one should be the one that's like that, that can be a lot of stars. Because this is the one that you, for all intents and purposes, this is you presenting to the world like what you fucking do. You know what I mean? Right. So I think that's why they made this one three stars. Okay, I yeah. thought it was weird that you said, one, you have the opera background, but you've never done opera and drag. Like, New York, I feel like, is a staple or a spot where you would incorporate this. So you never had the opportunity there? Girl, never. Here's the thing. And opera singers are very protective of their voice. And I, since I started doing drag, I had so much more access to suck dick regularly. You know what I mean? So... <laughs> My vocal cords and stuff, bitch, they have been a lot of friction. How'd that work out? <laughs> There's been a lot of friction, so I've just been really insecure because of the, the just the paralysis of my vocal cords and the, and the tension that has been placed on them over the past 10 years in drag. I was like, I'll do this later. And I was like, you know what? I, but it worked perfectly because now I can pull this trick out of my back pocket and do it on the fucking winter season. Yeah. So everything happens for a reason! <laughs> And I feel like you also felt the pressure to uh, outdo what you did on All Stars 4. <laughs> not outdo, bitch. <laughs> I wanted to do something better. But here's the thing. I was not even going to do this. I switched to this talent, like, maybe, like, to, like uh, an episode before this. Like, I did, I was going to go and do, Patty knows it. My assistant Patty's saying, I know Patty, right ahead of Patty. I was gonna do this like R&B shit and then when we, I was, yeah, this, this song, one of my original songs that's gonna be coming out of my album later this year and I was like, I'm gonna do this and then when we got to the talent show, I was like, you know what? Bitch, I'm making a game time decision. I'm gonna switch it and do this instead, so. Do we'll your real talent. You, ooh, the real talent. <laughs> oh my God. The train talent. You want me to suck dick on stage? <laughs> Alyssa, that is inappropriate. <laughs> Alyssa, if you were in the talent show, what would you have done? I don't know why y'all are laughing. I got lots of talents, bitch. I got a whole purse and a clutch full of them hoes. I, don't, I would have to think about it because that's a lot of money on the line. And, um, yeah. Well, here's the thing. I said it. I, so I want someone to do this on a future a talent I thought about. We all know um, the Oculus set, like Beat Saber game, right? No. You were talking. You were Imagine, talking about you. this. Can you explain it to me? Because I I was looking for this. Okay, so in like the if you just just Google Beat Saber and people who get really good at this fucking game, it's like one, it's like almost Guitar Hero, but for like oh, the for yes. like the new like with with virtual reality, you have like the two things in your hand, and if you like are really good, that shit is mesmerizing. Imagine some fierce ass bitch coming on the stage and the judges have to they have a big virtual reality TV fucking screen and they're just doing it to fucking call me mother by RuPaul, bitch. That would be so sickening. 
Someone in a future season, go and do Beat Saber as a challenge, but be really good. Don't be like, uh, kind of okay, but you gotta be like really good, yeah. I think that could be fun. Do you know what Beat Saber is? <laughs> she said no, 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 no. <laughs> You and Bob were talking about it on the pod. And yeah, it you, could be fair. Will you do the, the you, you both were like, duh, 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 duh. like, I don't even know. I don't, I, I don't know either. You, you I, were, I'm always a little high when we record the podcast, so I get fucked up a there lot. It is. Just a little bit. <laughs> now, um, I feel like you both have iconic lip syncs, especially after last week. Um, how does it feel just knowing, one, you got to do the first spoken word, and then Alyssa just, I feel like your lip sync with Coco and your lip sync with Tatiana are just revered as iconic lip syncs. How does it feel knowing that that's part of y'all's legacy? <laughs> do you not think your lip syncs were iconic, Alyssa? Your lip syncs, do you, do you not? Do you? Lip sync is what got me on the show. Of course I do. So... <laughs> Uh, what was the question? How, do How we does feel? it feel knowing that it's part of your legacy? Yes, ma'am. I, um, I mean, Drag Race is a huge part of Alyssa Edwards. And uh, the, I mean, it, it literally has been 10 years. Thank you for the reminder since I went on season five. <laughs> and uh, when, when I look back at that journey, um, I am very proud of that and proud of the work and what I presented that represented this character that I created from scratch at the house. Yeah, and I mean, I, vision, I fucking love lip syncing on the show. I think that yes. it, it, a lot of, I saw a lot of comments of people being like, oh, you know, in the talent show, girls lip syncing to songs. I'm like, bitch, that is what fucking drag is. Like, tell me you're well, a fan do. of drag race and not fucking drag. You know what I mean? Like, drag queens, lip sync. So to come on the show and see someone do it well, that, I never get tired or bored of that. So I love lip syncing on the show. Bitch, pound the alarm, we're going on in drag race history. Yeah. Uh, juice, not so much, but you know what I mean? It is what it is, and I, I, I love, I love lip-syncing on the show, and it's always fun to watch, and I mean, when Alyssa and Tatiana both hit those fucking, it did that fucking lip-sync together, like, it is, you, you, you have, like, an, a chemical reaction to that shit, you know what I mean? And if you don't, bitch, you're dead, okay? So, fuck it. I love it. Well, the spoken word also, I feel like, is a staple in New York. Did you know you were about to eat that lip-sync when it came out, or that performance? Absolutely. <laughs> No crumbs. No for crumbs. me, for me, it was when you kept going and your fascinator stayed on. I was like, oh, this bitch just won. <laughs> oh, bitch! I was backstage. I put literally forty-seven pins in my fascinator. I said, this fascinator gonna sit her ass right the fuck here, and she's not moving the whole time. Absolutely. All right. Um, you've each have done a handful of seasons, Monet. I feel like you're catching up to Juju B with how many you're doing at this Ooh! point. <laughs> That's three regular seasons Kara. under your belt. You have Secret Celebrity, Drag Race coming up. Does it, you feel good? Keep doing it? Like, what, what are your thoughts every time they ask you? Listen, if they call me and the check is right, bitch, I'm showing the fuck up, okay? <laughs> Secret Celebrity, Drag Race, baby, the check was right. So I was like, <laughs> I'll be there. And on Secret Celebrity, Drag Race, there are three, I had, I made multiple, uh, I had multiple runways for some looks. The light-up one had multiple looks. The knitwear one had multiple looks. And also, um, something else, I forget. I, but I wear them all on Secret Celebrity, Drag Race. It was, we literally filmed this, we filmed this last October, so it was like maybe two months after we finished filming this. So Damn, yeah, okay, she's working. Yeah, girl, okay. it's fun. Well, Roscoe, you ready to get back into this? Oh, mm. oh, wait, hold on. Wait, I have one question. I have a question too. Before we go into the episode, do you, I'll let you go first. Can I have the chicken tenders and fries? <laughs> Thank you. We got a complicated order. Would you like barbecue, honey mustard, ranch? Both. Buffalo. Okay, buffalo. Th all three. Um. So. Before we move into um, a little more about this week's episode, Monet, we, everybody is dying to know, who was it? Who was what? Monet. Yes. Eat -er, eat -er. <laughs> <laughs> What's the question? I don't know what y'all talking about. Who did you? Monet, you how, how we stated this? last week <laughs> that you had sex with one of the cast members. <laughs> so I was just... Coming oh, forward. Oh, oh, oh. Hashtag oh. who fucked Monet. That. Yes. The Nancy Drews of the world. I wondering. will say this. By the other person, I am not going to speak on it because it involves two parties. I am open and willing. I sh overshare. But by well, the share, other... Bitch, share, bitch, <laughs> share. By the, the other class. person's request, I'm not going to say anything, but I will say this. I ate very good that night, okay? Okay. And y'all think y'all know who it is, but bitch... 
there's multiple people on the skies that you could eat well with, if you know what I'm saying. And I was shocked. I was gagged. I was like, okay, you got all that? Okay. <laughs> Party. <laughs> I'll keep thinking. All right, let's jump back into this episode. I just want to say, y'all saw me curling that blue wig in there? I had been curling that wig for six days, bitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> I had been what? trying to curl that fucking wig. I'm so bad at hair, but I was like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna. Are you drinking water? You gotta stay hydrated. Alyssa, I did not know you were a quitter. <laughs> <laughs> you were a quitter. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm wait, still she... trying to figure out who Monet laid up with. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I'm over here doing process of elimination. Oh, girl, every time there's a break, Alyssa's like, so really, who was a girl? <laughs> you th who, th who votes Raja? Let's do a vote. Oh, my God. Who votes Jada? Because I think I'm voting Jada. Who votes Evie? I vote Evie. See, that would be the obvious choice, right? Right, right. Who votes Trinity? Maybe that's me. I think it was Trinity. Who I think... thinks the Vivian? They were in the UK for a while together. What about Shay? She has one star at this point, girl. <laughs> she needed some love, bitch. <laughs> and Monet told her, come to the room, girl. I come got here, you, I sis. Got you. <laughs> I got you, sis. And then rolled that big ass over, bitch. <laughs> God bless whoever did it. Well, I love how y'all did not say the obvious person that it probably was. Ross. RuPaul. Jinx. <laughs> Who votes Jinx Monsoon? Imagine if I fuck RuPaul. Wouldn't that be a gag, bitch? <laughs> I'd be like, Willem, I did it better. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Skip the producer. Go to the host. <laughs> Security. I got to get up out of here, bitch. Okay, so the talent show is... Doing it at the end is new, because it's normally we open with that. I, I would say that's a twist. Um, how did you both adapt to, like, the big twist on your season when all the eliminated girls got to come back and then with this one here? Can I tell you, All Stars 2 is, A, one of my favorite seasons of fucking Drag Race ever, right? That shot of a... And, yes, the other girls were there, but we only know Alyssa's reaction. And when that fucking mirror light went on, and Alyssa just like... That is such, you can't even write that. That shit is perfect television. You are insane. <laughs> in that moment, Alyssa, what was going through your head, if you can remember then? Well, Ooh. in that moment, actually, <laughs> I was trying to process everything else. You know, the girls were giving monologues and all that. <laughs> and I thought, well, hold up. Somebody's fucking getting red tonight, bitch. And Tatiana, she tapped me. She said, you are, bitch. And then the lights came on, bitch, and I'm really looking like Joan Crawford over there. But uh, it's Drag Race. It's a part of it. I knew on um, the first episode when Rue said, y'all are going to be vert voting yourselves out. out. Oh, this shit's fucked up this year. All right. <laughs> so I was already ready. Now, the change for you from voting people out to all staying... What was the thoughts for you? Okay, real tea. When we all got there and they told us the first day, like when we like cameras off, we were like, girl, like, yes, this is good. But I was like, the fans are going to fucking hate that we all stay here the whole time, right? But cut to everybody fucking loves that we stay the whole time. But I think it works in this format because it's a winter season, so it feels different. I feel like if they did it on like, in like season 14, we would have all rioted. We would have all been writing petitions to RuPaul. Like, what are you doing? So I think it works on this type of season. It may work on a, a do you think it will work on a regular All-Stars season? Yeah. No. Okay, oh I'm not God. voting, never mind. She was, Don't. no! Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we, we, at first we thought that the fans would hate it, but obviously we were like, okay, we get to show our all shit, but everyone ended up liking it. So I, th I think it was a nice twist. It was good. Oh yeah, no, we get to see everything that y'all have in your arsenal. And like, we haven't seen some of y'all for a few years. And then 
all of them getting reintroduced to the new fandom, it's great yeah. for everybody. Honestly. Yeah, I mean, every time we would like, you know, we would be outside, whatever, no cameras rolling. Raja, and she said it on camera. She's like, I'm just here for followers. I don't even care about this fucking show. And I was like, work, Raja. She wanted her wine, her weed. Oh, girl, every morning we would be outside in the tent. It's like, mind you, they pick you up at 7 a.m. You're on set by 7.30 a.m. Raja would be in the smoker's tent, a cigarette in one hand, a joint in the other hand. And I was like, where is my Sauvignon Blanc? Can someone please get me my wine? I really need it. So filming with Raja was the best. I was like... I want to be you when I grow up, girl. Like, Raja is everything. I fucking love Raja. Again, Roscoe's. Do not forget to stick around at 1030. We will have performances from Alyssa and Monet, featured Batty and myself as well. And then stick around after this for Untucked. Get your questions ready. We'll have um, both of our divas up here answering appropriate and reasonable questions for the audience. Oh, we, we, we watch Untucked here? We do, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, work. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just, I didn't see that one in the contract. <laughs> so everybody so far is singing except for Raja, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. They're singing? Well, okay, wait, hold on. That's a, Two well, people okay. are singing live. <laughs> live. Wait. Everyone else is lip syncing uh, and one right. person is, okay. is dancing. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. that's different, girl. Singing is hard, girl, live in person. But, you know... <laughs> <laughs> you are well, so shady. They actually haven't said what everyone's doing, so some of them we don't know. But yeah, well, also some people are singing with the uh, with the track playing, and they're singing as well. Over the, so, okay, yeah, got yeah, it, got yeah, it, got it, got yeah. it. Got it. Well, I'm interested to see how this goes, Roscoe. Same. So are you ready to get back into it? Absolutely. Make some noise for Monet, baby. <laughs> now that well, was, that was raw. Well, we know who one of the talent winners <laughs> are. <laughs> The category is talent. <laughs> Trained talent. Monet, what do you have to say to all of the people? This chicken is so good. It's so good. It's nice and crisp and warm. I love it. I love it. She came in. I'm going to do a little opera, just a little singing. Well, you know, so I went to undergrad. Like I said, I went to undergrad. I'm bitch. And anyone there who went to some fancy art school, bitch, I am $150,000 in the hole because of this shit. So I said, I'm going to make the degree make me get some motherfucking cash on this goddamn show, okay? So, yeah. Were you at any moment nervous that you were singing in a lower register, that it could have been taken in a way of kind of pushing the boundary? It, yeah, no, I really did because, you know, I, I feel I've never wanted to sing in opera and drag before because I'm a bass. So I'm like, nobody want to come to no drag show and see no, no drag queen singing. Saying that's a, a bass girl who aria. don't have no breast on right now. All right. <laughs> girl, that's old school drag. Bitch. Let that go and be proud of your talent, girl. Yeah, yeah, so. I mean. I am, I am, but. I was nervous before. I was like, no one's to hear that shit. But now on, girl, I am really going to embrace it. And, and like Alyssa Edwards would do, bitch, I'm going to run it into the ground. Okay? Absolutely. <laughs> that was so fantastic. All right. Who, are, who do we have um, as favorites other than Monet? Shay. 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 Bitch, in the moment when Shay did that performance, it was like watching her. I felt like we were literally at the fucking VMAs and watching like a yes. concert. It was the choreo, because you know we do them all twice. You do it twice. And Shay was so, it was, it was very mesmerizing watching Shay do it. It was, it was so the good. confidence. The she confidence. was confident. Because for a second, it felt like we were at Work the World, right? The yeah. same four dancers, side to side, up and down. Shay came out there and said, No, bitch, you're at my show, and I paid them, all yeah. right? Yeah. It was really yeah. great. It was really great. Yeah. So Trinity had Sweet Tea dumped on her two times? Twice, girl. Okay, work. Fuck she yeah. She did it twice. That's... I assume she did it once, because I knew everyone did oh, it twice. Matter, I, I, I do it. I do eat a lot of edibles, I'm pretty sure <laughs> she did it twice. I mean, she, she, or they may have cut it right before that part yeah. and did it like that, but I'm pretty sure she did it twice. Oh, I don't yeah. know. I wrote um, Evie's switcheroo. That was really cute coming out it the It was trunk. so dope. The Evie fucking tricking people at the beginning. You thought it was her pulling the thing, but she was really inside the box. It was it inception. Was like, it was very Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. Because she was like as tall as she is like in this little bitty ass trunk. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like how bendy she is. Uh -huh. She fits. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Fit. And then uh, for Jada, hers was just like an overall callback to everything she did. That was so fucking hype and so good. Yeah. And yeah. then the, the Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. <laughs> the confusion. Yeah. That was cherry on top. 
Um, I put Shay eight, Viv cute, <laughs> Jinx was I, great. I, I really like that. That was, I put. I, I put, love that. That to me, that's campy talent. I feel like you'd see that at a Jinx and Dayla show or just a Jinx show. Like that Absolutely. was giving that energy. It was like me. her full redemption comeback. Like yeah. she said it from the beginning to where she's at. So I loved that. Well, I think I loved it so much because that's not something we can see at Work the World, all right? <laughs> We're going to have to pay a ticket to the theater, darling, to Girl, see that. what did Work the World... Did they piss in your fucking coffee, bitch? What is going on? <laughs> I love, I love, she is coming for work the, the world, world, girl. But this is two hundred fucking thousand dollars, bitch. So this is like my. Mom. I would say you better backflip and land in a handstand, bitch, and pussy pop to a split. <laughs> bitch, you not gonna walk side to side with your shirt off in my drag show for two. Okay. Alyssa's like, Alyssa's like, girl, my fries. <laughs> Where did she get a fan? And <laughs> hey, bitch, and I would have said, who's the choreographer? Thank you, baby. Go take a seat, doll. Okay. Because I'm buying another house. It's a guy. She's like, my fries are cold. At work the world, the fries are hot. I'm like, damn. <laughs> Leave them alone. <laughs> and then Raja's cultural dance was really beautiful yeah, and inspiring. Was I it was theatrical, way. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it was musical. It was beautiful. But she came out there. She was. It was the eyes for me. Yeah, she gave it. She gave it. It was interpreted. <laughs> Well, I think, isn't Mayhem like her daughter? So I see where she gets it from. That was fabulous. I was thoroughly entertained, bitch. I was thoroughly, I said, girl, she's barefooted. She is theatrical. And then she got down and she was so committed at the end. I don't know if they show it, but Raja, because she was barefoot, because she had some corn. So Raja took these gold stones and she stoned her corns on her feet. That's how you do it. I don't know okay. if you can see it on camera. It was hilarious. <laughs> she was gets like, bonus points for attention to detail. Yes, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. She stoned her corns. This was bitch. the talent was competition, everything. baby. <laughs> now, before we get back into this, do y'all have a runway after or is it just the talent show? It was show? just talent. Just yeah. talent show. Okay. So this is going to be in China. Okay, so if this was Star Search, you know, a show back in the 80s, probably before all y'all was born. But, Alyssa. Um... It, who would be your top three? Okay, your top three. Oh, she asking the question. Well, we know Monet, so let's let that go. All right, Shay. So, do we thank Shay by the show of hands? Do we thank Raja? Do we thank Trinity? Do we thank um, Evie? Do we thank Jinx? Do we thank Jada? And do we think the Vivian? Uh, well, okay, girl! Girl! Damn. <laughs> Roscoe's love all is, the winners. They, Roscoe's is very opinionated. Damn. You know, they're honest. And the, uh, and the guest judge over here? <laughs> uh -huh. Santino Rice. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> representing, representing Chicago's finest alleyways. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. She said, no, we don't, bitch. Send that bitch back over there across the pond, honey. <laughs> Monet, obviously you were very confident in what you did and delivered it so well. After everyone performed, was there anyone that you were like, they're going to be in the top two with me? No. I did. I, I did. No, no, I did. I thought the person in the, that I thought would be in the top two, I thought it would be between um, Shay and Jinx. Okay, the top. So That's who I think. I did think that. Same. All right. I agree. I do want to touch base, though, real quick. Um, I think it's amazing that they're giving um, money away to these charities. They are. Um, to, you know, just for, for awareness, just to even start, like all of these people. Um, so my question is, did they give you a list of charities to choose from, or did you guys just to get to pick something? So when we were there, they, if, if you didn't have one that you already know that you wanted to do, they provided you a list that you can choose from. Yeah. But I knew, I've, I've done a lot of work with, with Color Change before, so that was at the top of my head. But if you didn't, they would, they would give you a list to pick from. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, well. Bitch, they are spending money this season. They said $200,000. They're giving $30,000 to charity plus $10,000 to everyone else's. Like, it's, they're spending fucking money. And so Wait, it's what? good. So $30,000 for the person who, who wins the lip sync. But also, we each get to give our charity $10,000 as well. Oh, so all the winners get Yeah, something. everyone gets okay, to give charity. That's yeah. why the 30 makes sense. So it's yeah. 100000 someone donated. Exactly. Q, Q, Q. Exactly. I love that. That's awesome. Fuck yeah. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Let's get back into it. Yeah, that math was fast. You better work. Did you go to school, too? You went to college? Mississippi, yeah. That, oh, well, that doesn't count. <laughs> all right, so we're just going to chat real quick about the critiques. Let's chat. 
Um, so, Monet, was there anything that they said um, about anybody that um, you want to share with us? Are you feeding your face? A little snack. Huh? Mm. Is there, <laughs> was there anything um, said in critiques that we need to know the tea? No, I mean, I have such a bad memory. I really do. And I think they pretty much said everything. Um, I don't remember anything <laughs> shady that they're keeping out. Like, you know, they be doing sometimes. Y'all but. know she signed a fucking contract, bitch. <laughs> I mean, Trinity the tea was here. Trinity the tuck. So, <laughs> she was spilling tea last week. She was. <laughs> Not this so week. was Raja two weeks they, ago. Yeah, I mean, I'm really bad. I just, I just, I, I can't, I have such a horrible memory. I really do. I don't think so. Okay. I think they said all the things. And world peace. <laughs> I really do. Girl, I do not care. I would. I really don't remember. Okay. You said it here. You also said on the runway that you were just scared of, uh, of people hearing a bass singing opera singer. But we've had artists like Tony Braxton and Barry White. Why, did, why would you feel Tony like Braxton? I mean, she's a bass. <laughs> Oh, no, you, you are a whole octave lower than her, bitch. <laughs> Ooh, the tangerine margarita. Ooh, this is about to get really good. Okay, okay, so wait, what's your question? Sorry. Um, no, how was the validation from the judges after singing? It was really dope. And, you know, and it has really, it has empowered me. It has empowered me to want to do it more. And, you know, there are really some great, uh, G- Giselle Barbie Royale sings classically. Oh. Uh, Jasmine Rice. There are a lot of queens that sing. So maybe, maybe who? Jasmine Rice. Jasmine Rice, right? So maybe we can do like a do like uh, what was that thing a long time ago? Three mo tenors, but like three mo drag queens, and that's like go around the country with Thorgy and her Thorkestra in a thong <laughs> and yeah. do like a thing that could be really cute, yeah, right? You're onto something there, right? I am. I am. I'm stringing it together for sure. I hear it. Okay, so. That was mine. <laughs> yeah. Um. Looking at all of them and seeing what, like, their songs and whatnot, I think what's going to happen, (laughs) it's probably going to be wrong, everybody, is that you are going to win this challenge. Now, that I'm surely, because there was no runway. Stranger things have happened. Oh, not because there's no runway. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Let me do the Alyssa. Shady bitches out here. No, I'm saying there is, there's nothing else to critique. So, <laughs> Monet, don't do me like this, bitch. <laughs> no, baby, you did yourself with that one, doll. <laughs> no, there's, I'm saying there's nothing else to be judged, right? Yeah, so, yeah. You're, you're up there. Um, um, let's jump back now. Yeah. Alyssa, is Jada up there with her, or is it Jinx? Well, everybody got good critiques, so the judges loved everyone, but... Which they have all season. Yes, and that's the thing. They've given everybody great, Fair. Re- great, right. great critique. So, I would, I would, I'm still picking Shay. I said it. Rue said the exact same thing I did. The confidence. She stood out. She was not a backup dancer. Someone tried to two step. She said, "Baby, this is what I do. This is who I am." Now, where's my fucking money? Okay. She put that her was ex- how, that was the performance that she gave me. That was a star. That was a star. So wait, let's do the math though, because now I'm curious. Yeah, because so she if she gets three stars, how many would I have for you? That would give me five. 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 So you'll be one ahead of Jinx. Yeah. Correct. Oh shit, and she bitch! Would have four. Ah. Here so. comes the twist. <laughs> Here comes the twist! It, if Shay gets three, how many would that be for her? Four. four. She'll be tied five with Jinx. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh-huh. So no, it, it kind of works out. If so, since Monet, we feel like she's gonna take it this week. Yep. Um, if she wasn't gonna win, it would have put them in a weird situation with five people potentially. So I think it was. It's gonna be Monet and someone. Else. I did like Jinx and I did like Raja. And when Raja told the story. You know, when, yep, I, when I was watching points. Raja, I was thinking of like a Sia video. I was like, why is Sia singing? Because this is, this is interesting. <laughs> like, I would want to watch that again. You, if you go somewhere to a talent show, you, you've got to ask yourself, what would I want to watch again? And Raja's, I want to watch again. Let's go. <laughs> and now that I know that she had corns that were rhinestones, I need them to zoom in. Extra points. I it need to crazy. see that. I was, when she, I was like, Roger, what are you doing? She's like, oh, girl, I'm just stoning my corns. I was like, Only what? Monet said, I saw the corns, and they were Stone. rhinestones, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's jump back in and see. Yeah, I want to see the corns. Yeah. Roscoe! Bitch, let me tell you something. Roscoe! 
we did that lip sync, girl. I don't know. We just randomly just started doing so many things in sync. It was so crazy. It was so right. I had no idea. I'd never seen it, right? I just did it. I never watched it. So I was like, how do we just end up, girl? It was like, we're like, we're like biological women. We just synced up. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then when I did that split, I was like, this outfit is, is six years old. Bitch, I'm about to split. This whole outfit's about to split with me, okay? But it did it. So it was And cute. you both were wearing blue. How I ironic. Know. So ra- ra- All right, Roscoe's. Who won it? Ooh. Shall see. Oh my gosh, that's that good Emmy money. Oh my Baby. goodness. <laughs> what a twist. Bitch, six lip syncs next week. It's going to be stunning. Two, two, winner, two, two, winner. You are so good at you math. Very good. That Mississippi math, girl. Praise it's God cute. to you on tonight, bitch. <laughs> bitch, she over there. You, are you, bitch, are you running some NFTs up in that motherfucker? What's going on? Monet, I was still trying to figure out the, the, the addition that was Me going too. on over Earlier, here. I'm still confused, girl. <laughs> 30, oh, oh, because the one $30,000 and seven ten is a... Got it, okay. I got oh, to, you know, oh. I was one of those kids in school. I had to sing it out loud. I'd be like, one plus seven. Okay, that's... I, no, I got to write it out like I'm this. I'm an out loud processor, yes. Okay. Well, what do we think of the episode, guys? Well, job well done to you, and we can't wait to see what next week brings. Dead um, ass. Well, I just love lip syncing, so I'm very excited about next week. Ooh. We shall see. Ooh. <laughs> I am honestly surprised between all eight of you winners, Reddit, and everyone else that this did not leak. I did not hear a single word about this. This was very good. Oh, good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Cause normally y- y'all know how it is, but you go by the time All we the leave filming, the whole season be out in the open. But so that's good that that's not out there. That's good. Alyssa, what are your thoughts on about this? <laughs> the, actually, I will tell you, this was very refreshing. This was exciting. I felt like I was watching a fucking Super Bowl and shit. <laughs> I was in it. I told Monet backstage though. She said, listen, have you been watching the all-winner season? I said, winner season? You mean the crown queens? Because they left a few winners off the list. But I was joking. I was just joking, bitch. But I was telling her, um, this has been very uh, a, a, a good change of pace. Because here in all the positivity, there's a lot of work that goes into this bullshit, all right? And it can be kind of stressful. Week after week, you go up there and you're like, I think I'm fierce, bitch. I'm doing my gig right. And they're like, it was all right, girl. And you'd be like, what? Fuck you, bitch. You come do it. So it was. And it Raja was, did. And Raja did let them know. See, I, I kind of want to see. I kind of want to see a behind the scenes. <laughs> But it was good, too, not to see, like you said, all the girls stay, no one go home. Let's see what you got, what you packed. And here's the thing. Shay was in the bottom to the very fucking end and now has a chance to win. All right. So I love seeing people excel in what they do best. All right. Give it up for Shay from Chicago. Because here's the tea, though. Like, from the beginning, Ruth said... Only the stars matter, you know what I mean? Like he's like, fuck your wins. Bru was like, bitch, it's about all the stars. So it's been it's been really crazy. People got stars, people got three stars, people got charity stars, but whatever, as long as you got your stars. And at the and at the end of the day, the stars, the win and all that's great. What really matters is your bank account. All right, well, Amy. <laughs> Well, on that note, we're gonna turn in. We're gonna tune into Untuck. So while we go to our commercial breaks, we're gonna be doing a Q and A. So all of you that have questions, um, just pop your hands up when we get there, and Caramel and I are gonna let you ask your questions to these two lovely divas. All right, Roscoe's, get those questions ready. Batty and I will be making our way around. But before we do, Alyssa, if the opportunity presented itself for another All Star season, would you go back, diva? Before you, before you answer, you are a legend in the drag community. You're a legend in the RuPaul's Drag Race community. You've inspired so many. So, like, would it be time to dust off the heels again and go back in the ring? What you mean, dust them off, bitch? They've been on. They, they never came off. Drag her. Stay motherfucking polished, whore. <laughs> Get her. Um, me and Monet were actually just talking about this because maybe, just maybe. <laughs> no, um, I did... Let me choose my words wisely. (laughs) Um, 
I, I said I would only go back if it was an America versus the world, all right? Hey, yes, ma'am. Because I'm an American queen, bitch. And if they bring that up over here, well, I'm going to um, repolish the shoes, okay? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes. But no, I would go back because here's the thing. What those girls just said at the end is the absolute truth. It makes it all worth it. For me, my Drag Race experience was so much more um, when I watched a show of flamboyant characters gallivanting around, tongue popping and falling on their back. It truly is a journey of courageous souls sharing their stories, their life. What Raja did tonight, I'm sure you all learned something about her, right? And um, that's what's so beautiful about this Emmy-winning show all around the world. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're there to share our stories, our like truths, and our STDs. It's really great. <laughs> yeah. And in addition to that, I ain't never done none of that. All right, because I'm a lady. Said, we were on tour. Alyssa and I were on. T- oh my God. <laughs> we were on Christmas tour, and then we got on the on the topic of polyamory, right? <laughs> A f- a f- Stop, <laughs> Monet, bitch. That you know they film this fucking shit over here. So we talking, we're talking, and then I, we're, we're all talking. Alyssa's over here, and I, in the corner of my eye, I just see Alyssa. When I see the word polyamory, I just see Alyssa going. <laughs> Alyssa's like, girl. What I'm not judging. I just had a lot of questions. She's like, what the fuck is a polyamory? Me, sex has to be organized from the start. All right. <laughs> My partner sits right here filming this foolishness because he's probably from Chicago. Uh, yeah. Probably thinking, let me get this bullshit on tape, all right? <laughs> but I told her, how do you organize sex and then add three more people or other people? That's too many things, girl. <laughs> I got dance moms and all that. She's like, you should try it. I'm good, girl. I'm good, all right? <laughs> but I'm not judging. I support polyamorous. I'm not polyamorous, but good for them. Like, work, bitch. <laughs> I, listen, I have, I have ADHD. I can only focus on one person making them come, okay? <laughs> Imagine how to focus your time on making two people come or have to cater to two people's emotions and needs. I can't, That's a girl. lot of work. I'm enough as a, of a basket case on my own. I have too much going on. We have some questions coming up right over here. All right, we're going to start our Q&A. What's your name? Hi, I'm Kyle. Nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, Kyle. Hi. Um, first of all, Alyssa, I really hope we get a Dancing Queen season two. That show was immaculate. Uh, <laughs> Uh, amazing, uh, fantastic. Uh, my if qu- the check clears, right? I know that's right. Uh, my question is: uh, This season had some of the best runways ever. What was uh, your favorite theme from this season of the Ooh, runways? Ooh, favorite theme! I think my favorite theme was. I really, really, really enjoyed. Um, the three-in-one that we had to do, right? They told us it had to be multiple books. I really enjoyed that. I liked the pleather runway, and I really liked the Dolly Parton runway. That was really special because it was really sentimental for me and Patty, and it was, I, I, I love that runway. It's one of my favorite ones. But what about that Dolly challenge? Oh, the Dolly challenge. I mean, the Dolly, what, what, I said, bitch, I have had to impersonate through multiple white, white women, women on Drag Race. I it said, was all black girls in a Dolly Challenge, bitch. Bitch, I said something I about it. I fell on the ground, girl. I said, if I, I have had to impersonate Vanna White, Dolly Parton, Cher, and fucking Kristen Davis, a.k.a. Charlotte. I've had enough, okay? <laughs> bitch, give me, give me Patti LaBelle. Give me Aretha, give me Mary J. Blige. Like, give me, like, I'm so sick and tired of black queens having to be white people on this fucking show. I did love Monet in the do- <laughs> <laughs> Over it, over it, over it, over it, over it, over it. Girl, she scooted down that runway. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name's Corn Chip. Corn Chip. <laughs> my question's for both of y'all. So on your seasons, how long did you all get to prepare for the talent show? Because especially on All Winners, bitch, that was like, there were backup dancers. It was very complicated. So how long did you all get to prepare? She was the well, let one. me go first, because I was the first talent show, all right? <laughs> Number one, these hoes had 10 fucking seasons to watch talent shows and figure something out. Now, we didn't get no backup dancers. They called us a week before, and they said, we're going to do a talent show. Good luck, doll, and don't fuck it up. So that's what I'm saying. When I'm watching this, I mean, now know this going back. If they have America versus the world, I'm going to bitch. I'm going to have a writer, all right? 
I need fuckers coming from the ceiling, bitch. I need glitter at the end. You're not going to give me four dancers doing the hokey pokey. And girl, I'm going to be tap dancing, doing ballet, and singing live, bitch. The fuck, bitch? I would have looked at it and said, everybody's fired. Everybody's fired. Now, if I had a talent like that, all she needed was the fog, all right, bitch? <laughs> well, I had the thing for my it. talent. They originally, when we rehearsed it, they brought in, like, fog, like, atmosphere. It was, like, the one, but it was going too high. It wasn't staying low. I was like, I'm not doing this unless we get low-line fog. So, bitch, I had to call the fucking theatrical department and get dry ice to make that little, like, low-line fog, bitch. See? I was like, I want, uh, bitch, I want to look like a fucking memory, okay? That's what I want. Um, we had we, we had like four weeks to prepare. I mean, you about that, but when we got there, we realized we were doing it like towards, we didn't know when it was coming, but we knew it wasn't the first day, obviously, or the first challenge. And then so, um, yeah, we had the whole thing. And I think like maybe a couple of days before, they told us that we had dancers, and then you got to rehearse with your dancers if you didn't, if you did, and you didn't, if you didn't need them. So a few days to rehearse. Yeah. Hi, what's your name? John. Hi, it's for anybody with a microphone. This season has been so incredible, so inspiring, and so wonderful to see everybody uh, shine in all of your ways. How does the show one up this? How do we? Where do we go from here? That budget goes up. All right. <laughs> Here's the thing. Why does America's get, Got Talent and all these other shows on mainstream not winning shit got a million dollar prize? Give the fucking queens their money, That's bitch. That's what I'm fucking saying. Where's the million Honestly, dollars? Girl, why can't you act? The, the prize for this winter season, full T, it should have been at a minimum $500,000. I really think so, right? It's the winner's a winner, so I, th I agree. Like, if they up the budget, then they will get better stuff. Like, if, if you're coming on your first season, you can't spend tens of thousands of dollars on this fucking show. Like, it's your, your, your. I, I know what it was to go on the show being a local girl. I was making my coins. I didn't want to spend it all on the fucking show. So if the show invests more in the girls coming on, they can get bigger and fiercer things. But also the singing show. Um, what was it? The pop Queen of the Universe. That show started oh, yeah. off with two hundred fifty thousand dollars. This sh this season, right? See, that's why I'm waiting. That's shady. <laughs> I'm waiting, bitch. I'm yeah. gonna get that facelift and go back when it's about oh, yeah, nine hundred thousand dollars. Queen of the Universe was two hundred fifty, and it was like a crazy set and shit. It was like wild there too. Why? Yeah, the bitch needs to up the ante. Yeah. Also, I think too. I would just want to piggyback on that. I think also like this is the first time that we've seen Drag Race girls really get as a collective group all of their critiques that were positive in a way. So we didn't see a lot of negative that the judges were reading them. So I think that also will help to preparing somebody going into this. Like you know, you want to hear some negative, but it shouldn't always be negative. You know. Um, with that, we're gonna jump back in and then we'll get we'll get you some questions more. Okay. Patty Let's Davis, you are a fucking woman. Jesus Christ. Thank woman. You. Look at her face. It's the hormone shot. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> All right, Mikey. That was cute. Shane. Roscoe's, if you have any questions, please get them ready. I will make my way around. If my dress hits you on the way, you can apologize later. It's okay. We'll start here. What's your name, Diva? My name is Chelsea. What's your question for? My question is actually for both of you. Monet, you mentioned that Patty is here. Hi, Patty. I was wondering, um, I know that both of you had the makeover challenge, and I was wondering what your favorite part about the makeover challenge was on either season. I can say what my least favorite part is. <laughs> Putting people in drag. I fucking hate, I know, I know I'm not good at it. I hate fucking people put, putting people in drag. But when Patty came, well, something that, so when we, you know when they do the makeover challenge, they always have this little extra part that they stress that's really important. So for All Stars uh, 4, that fucking uh, Judy Garland dance thing, they were like, off camera, they're like, this is important. If you don't nail this, you won't win. So Pat and I like went in to fucking choreograph that shit and really do it a, a really good job, and we fucking nailed it. And I have emailed them, and like, can y'all please send me the uncut footage of me and Patty's fucking Judy Garland dance? And you know what they said? No. <laughs> <laughs> So I was really proud of that. It was my favorite part of doing that with Patty because Patty is a, is a music theater kid. He's really, Patty can do like fucking backflips and shit. He has so many little skills he can do. So he was really good at it and we really turned it out and we'll never see the uncut thing and I'm very upset, but it is what it is. 
I got to share that moment with like my sister, so that was like um, a long day for us, but that part was actually fun. So um, she didn't really understand the idea of drag. She loved uh, the aftermath of it, but um, that was like a good family bonding moment. Did you ever put your sister in drag before that? No, girl, where? Bitch, where? I don't know, in Texas, to, to go to the bar. In I Texas, don't... bitch. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> No, girl, we was not putting up in drags. <laughs> girl, in 1995, no. Have you ever done your sister's makeup before, ever? Uh, Yeah, I'm sure we like played, you know, like beauty salon and all that. And of course, if we played beauty salon, I was like the beautician. <laughs> <laughs> but not like full drag like that. She said, I don't want to wear this wig. My favorite part of that day, though, is when Rue walked in, my sister, only Alyssa Edwards' sister, pulled out her cell phone, and she said, Rue, baby, let's get this selfie real quick. <laughs> yes. I swear to God, my sister walked up. My mouth hit the floor. It always is on the floor. But she walked up. She said, come on, Rue, let's get this selfie, baby. Smile for this camera. <laughs> Girl, security secret service came rushing in. <laughs> Rue laughed, and then she told Anastasia Beverly Hills, what do you know about eyebrows? Girl. <laughs> I said, please, can I change models? <laughs> All right, we have a question right here from Steph. Hi, you both look beautiful tonight. Um, Alyssa, I'm wearing your palettes. Thank you for that. It's I, I thought you'd spot it. Um, <laughs> um, my question is for Monet. You've mentioned that you watched... <laughs> Shut up. The girls so, always love a misdirect. Listen, they love a misdirect. This is, very <laughs> this is very specific. You've mentioned that you watched a lot of Survivor. Yes. Um, and bring that into this. So who is your favorite winner? And was there, if not that person, like a specific player that you emulated on this season? Wait, Alyssa just said, wait, you just started watching Survivor? I just started, I watched my, my first, first I, me and Steve watched two seasons, I'm Which obsessed. ones, which season did you watch? It was like season 15. Okay, yeah. So let me tell you something, I am a late to the Survivor game. If y'all have not, Survivor is such a good fucking TV show. It's really good, it's really good. I was like, because for years, I was like, these white people are crazy about this shit, all right? And then during the fucking pandemic, it, we were on season two pandemic, I said, well, I'm not going to start watching this fucking show. There are 42 seasons, and I watched it. It's really fucking good. Anyway, so one of my favorite winners of, of Survivor is because of the Black Widow Alliance, and she was a fucking woman that turned it out. Poverty is one Harvey. of my favorite winners. Dude, so good. Like, using, like, her mind and, like, her sex. I'm like, bitch, yeah, girl. Like, fucking get these motherfuckers. Trick them into getting this motherfucking money. So, yeah, she's one of my favorites. And I don't, I wouldn't say I emulated my game plan to her because Drag Race is just so different. I wasn't able to use my body, my strong and flexible body, to win anything. Uh, but, yeah, she's one of my favorites. I love her. I love her. You yeah, better flex. Really right over to, here. Okay, I just want to piggyback off that question real quick because you you, you're just watching Survivor. If they were to ever do something like that with drag, would you do something like that? I did. Season 2 All-Stars. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, and I, and I was you. praying where the fuck was Sh Shangela and Laganja when I needed them the most. So yeah, <laughs> I did that. But I do want to go on that show. I want to go on too. They should put us on the same season. I want to go on it. Would you have an alliance with me? With you, I would. Okay. I already have an alliance with you, We bitch. do. We do in life. We do. We, we do. do. We do. We do Barry's boot camp together. We do. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, we, we were on the tour bus. It's like 7 a.m. Alyssa was like, girl, now wake your ass up and let's go down to the Barry's, girl. And I was like, Alyssa, it's 8 a.m. Okay. All right. Let's go. <laughs> and we did it. She made me go. Monet Alyssa, right over here to the left, Divas. Right here. First of all, two of my favorite top five queens, period. Both of them. Very relatable. Love every second of what you do. Alyssa, they robbed the fuck out of you on All Stars 2. But Not robbed, just a little burglarized. They just a little. Robbed. Right. So They just took the window AC unit. That's all right. <laughs> Monet, you win next week, period. Don't care. But question. I'm gonna choose Violet Trashki. If I had to choose any other winners to be on this current All Star season, who would it be for you two? Ooh, Cute. Another winner on this All Star season. Ooh. Ooh. Bitch, I, I wanna, I wanna say, girl, I would have loved to see Bianca up in that workroom, bitch. Because everybody was like so kumbaya, and the world needs that right now. So it was appropriate. 
But I would love to see Violet, you know, get her ass read by Bianca, bitch. It, and then they would go back and forth, and then oh, yeah, it would be so, it would be juicy as fuck. It would be good. It would be good. I honestly, I really wish they did. I think it's a major missed opportunity at that point. They should have put me and Bob together on the same season. That would have been messy. But here's my theory: if it was Bob and I together, it would have become. Um, RuPaul's ex-sibling rivalry and yeah. okay no but I have a question for uh, Monet would you have if you won the challenge would share your star with a friend oh here she goes Alyssa always has good this evening is... ladies gentlemen here she goes and Roscoe's here she goes in on stage question and answer contestant number two vying for the title of legendary stars winners <laughs> if you had the opportunity to share a star would you, if y'all were tied, you had two, she had two, Bob. and it was the Bob, and it was the final, and you won two, but they said you could share one. Would you have shared it with her or with the girl that had less stars? Good evening, distinguished panel of judges and Roscoe's. Good evening. <laughs> and Roscoe's. I would absolutely not give it to Bob because Bob can get his stars on his own and I want to put him as far back as possible so I can beat him. And that's what I would do. Because poverty would do so if she was doing it, okay? <laughs> I I'm not giving it to Bob. Bob would be have no problem getting his own stars, bitch. I'm trying to keep her behind, all right? Because but, I would but just girl, you voted for Trinity because y'all have a background, so why wouldn't you vote for Bob, your sister? <laughs> okay, so... Monet, she got you, but Monet would want to hold that over Bobby, like, bitch, I won. You didn't get the star. I got right. it. Right, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, oh, I, 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 I would want All the bragging right. rights. To not Girl, Shangela would have slapped the shit on me on national television right, <laughs> right in the face, bitch. Speaking of slapping. Yeah, let's slap back into this episode. Let's finish this. Yes. Well, top four and bottom four. Uh, it, I mean, they still win. Yeah. So, no bottoms this season. Well, <laughs> only tops. I don't right, know about Monet. Monet. See. So, while we were on our, um, on our commercial break there, um, <laughs> Alyssa and I had a quick conversation <laughs> a kiki, about what had happened on the Christmas tour when Trinity um, was there. So, last week, Trinity was there. Security, I feel very attacked. Alyssa, would you like to talk about this and share your side of the story? Well, let, let, let me give the audience some back some backstory, okay? <laughs> so, How dare um, you? This, no, I'm going to give you this. I'm giving you an unbiased what I had heard, okay? So this is the Christmas. Oh, you did hear, bitch. <laughs> this is Christmas story. Chicago. Tour. Everybody's getting their phones out. Messy, <laughs> messy, messy. This is Christmas story 2019. Hot I came tea. on the tour. Can y'all believe that fucking Christmas? All right. <laughs> I came on the tour halfway Girl, through. Girl, just call the bullshit out. I punched the lady in the fucking mouth, bitch. How many times? Well, I mean, wait, here's the thing. <laughs> You're from Mesquite, Texas, ma'am. <laughs> Okay, so I get on the tour, and then as soon as I, 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 everyone was on the tour, I joined halfway through. And as soon as I get to the venue in New Orleans, I walk through the door, Cracker grabs my hand. She's like, girl, I need to talk to you. I was like, girl, what happened? She's like, bitch, Alyssa and Trinity got to one fight yesterday. I was like, they did? She's like, girl. And I was like, girl. She's like, girl. <laughs> right? And Monet walked up to me and said, girl. I said, girl. And then cut to like a, three, a few months ago on the podcast, Bob was like, yeah, because you know when Trinity and Alyssa got I into a fight. I saw that messy ass like, shit. Trinity and Alyssa got into a fight. And I was just like, Ixnay on the fight, yeah, girl. I don't know about that shit. So what do you have to say about the fight? I just want to say that I am a teacher, a leader, and a mentor, and I do not condone violence. <laughs> Why are you saying but, bitch? You know, here's the thing. When you travel with people, think about your brothers or your sisters, all right? Like what people just said. There are often times that you want to say, now stop it right now. And then you say stop it right now, and then you better stop it, and motherfucker, bitch, if you don't stop it, what? <laughs> and um, I prayed about it because the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want... But we all just did a tour together for Christmas, and y'all were great. We were fine. We, you know what? Listen, it happened. She, she got up. She said, girl, about an hour later, and I said, listen, I got a drag show to do, bitch. For Christmas. 
You hear the alarm? That's God saying, stop, Alyssa. <laughs> That was God, bitch. I love Trinity. Trinity's my I bitch. I do too. I and you know what? Trinity. We really, honestly, it was a, 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 a little bit of a bonding moment for us because at that moment, none of us didn't go home. None of us didn't call the law. We shook it off and we sang our Christmas carols and we carried on with our show. But I told her, like, look, the thing is with me, girl, give me 50 feet at all times and keep your hands out of my pants, all right? Because, bitch, I'm the right one, okay? And we just kikied about it. And that was that. Work. So all's well that ends well. That was that. Gross. And the check cleared. <laughs> and and it was from Murray and Peter. I'm shocked by that one, girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ha. <laughs> but everybody was messaging me, girl, did you hit? Uh, oh, my gosh. Can you? I said, y'all, think about it. When you're with people all the time, all at, you're literally, like she said, at 7 a.m., you wake up to these queens, okay? Now, here's the thing. You asked how, how can Drag Race improve or get better or do something unique. Put us all in a house, bitch. Turn the, y'all thought real world broke the internet? Oh, y'all would not want it. Drag queens? <laughs> I mean, can you imagine the cameras rolling 24 hours? The moment but anyone loses hairspray, there's a fight, bitch. It's a fight over anything. You're like, girl, my nail, my, my, my nail glue was sitting right here. Who got it? <laughs> bitch, that's my super glue from Walgreens. Well, yeah. the thing was, when it happened, all the Drag Race girls, it just started to play telephone, right? And when the first person was like, yeah, uh, Alyssa hit Trinity. That by, the, by the time it, it reached uh, the, the 13th girl, so Alyssa got on stage, did a triple backflip somersault and kicked Trinity in the back of her head. <laughs> and it was like, oh my, so the, all of us had like, like wanted to like, what really fucking happened? So thank you for letting us know. We no, it, it wasn't anything like that. Here's the thing, we were backstage, there were a few girls back there, Latrice, my good sister, and um, we, we were, uh, I think, I, yeah, I think the girls were like indulging in, out, you know, adult beverages, house of love. And um, one thing led to another and I was like, girl, okay, okay, it was fine, it was fine, get off me, get off me. Okay, girl, it was fine, okay, I'm gonna tell you one more time, girl. Get off me and then, you know, hands start, no, no, triggers, no, no. And then it just turned into like a little bit, it wasn't a brawl, it was like a one, two step. Ciara, and then it was like, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. And then Cracker said, oh, and Latrice said, sister, whoa, mesquite, bitch, whoa. And then afterwards, I think the beauty behind it all was when, when me and her talked face to face, she was like, I was out of line. And I was like, no, bitch, I was out of line. And I think that we were able to be adults and like, um, I don't think it's abnormal for two people that do care for each other, like each other, appreciate and celebrate one another to go, you know what, look, this was not it tonight. And the next day we had Starbucks, so that was it. Thank you for clearing that up. You so fucking messy, I wish I... <laughs> In question and answer. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and judges. Bitch, we have a show to do. We have time for a couple more oh. questions, Ross. I'm a man coming to run the show. I'm like, wrap this shit up! <laughs> Everybody's like, forget. bitch, Alyssa's fucking hood hitting the girls <laughs> during fucking Christmas, bitch. Girl from the hood to Hollywood. Uh, <laughs> tongue pop the halls. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is George. Uh, Monet, my question's for you. I'm right here. Hi. Um, was there even a split second where you considered bringing Jada to the top four, or did you know that you were going to stick to your alliance and bring Trinity? That's a good question about bringing Jada. So, when, like, it all happened so fast because I, I, I had no, when Ruth said it, when we all heard it, that's when I heard it too, right? So it was like, I was like, girl, this is like a lot of responsibility. And Jada and I, I had never met Jada before we started doing the show. Like, because Jada was season 12. Season 12, season 12 happened during the Ponder replay. So, I never, ever. <laughs> did a gig with Jada. I'd never seen Jada in real life. It was, I had never worked with her. So I really, Jada, Shay, and I hung out a lot. We smoked a lot of weed together and we hung out a lot on set. So um, I was really building a really tight bond with her, but also, <laughs> but also, Trinity, <laughs> but Trinity and I have also, we have traveled a lot together. We worked a lot together and our alliance. So, for a split second, I was like, should I choose Jada? Because I really enjoy getting to know her. But no, I made a, a promise to Trinity and our alliance. I wanted to keep that, so I did it. And also, Trinity had, had four wins. 
We have to. Trinity had so rightfully. Trinity did deserve to be there. She had four wins up against Jada's two wins. That. You know what I mean? So it was also fair. And she made your costume for the TikTok, TikTok video. Uh, Batty, why you got to bring up stuff that I you, asked you about, Batty like, Davis? <laughs> <laughs> why do I feel like I'm on Sally, Jesse, Raphael, and shit? What the fuck is... How did my career end up like this? <laughs> <laughs> you lost All Stars 2, girl. That's what happened, okay? <laughs> hold on. Shade rattle. You all think you're clever, bitch, because we can pull out bank accounts, bitch. <laughs> I promise you, I didn't lose shit, whore. I promise you, bitch. There was no fucking loss, honey. She's been to my home, thank you very much. Have you or have you not? <laughs> it was a beautiful home. It's a beautiful home. <laughs> ah, you are the richest white woman in Mesquite, Texas, bitch. <laughs> In Mesquite, yeah. Chairs, <laughs> chairs, the beautiful lawn chairs. They're out there. It was very nice. Right over here in the back corner, Divas. Hi, Monet. Hi, Alyssa. We, uh, we're Eric and Erica, and we both love you so, so much. Um, our question for you is, if you could turn the top four into a top five, who would take that fifth spot out of the four other girls? Ooh, I would say, oh, wait, well, you go first. I just answer first. Your turn. I'm still trying to process this other bullshit. I came to Chicago to watch a show that I was not in. <laughs> With my husband. And <laughs> can I get another cocktail at the House of Love, please? You asked me if I was, if there was somebody that was not in the top five, that who would be? Top four. Who would be the top five? One more person. Uh-huh. Okay. I would say... Raja, I, Evie, Ra I, You Jada. know what? I think someone guessed for me. I would say I love the Vivian's work a lot. Okay? The Vivian is very polished and funny, and I've worked with the Vivian, and... Um, um, but on this show and in this competition, I'm going to go with Raja. And... <laughs> Throughout the whole series, I feel like Raja has been steadfast. And I feel like her art, what I love about it, it has a meaning. It, it's not just um, like, oh, I want to wear this and this. and Everything is a story and there's a rhyme and a reason. And I love and appreciate that so much about Raja. I love Raja too. Raja is the first season of Drag Race I ever watched. And it, was, it, it fucking turned me out, right? But I will say because... How old were you? When Roger season came out, I was in, I was like a, a freshman in, or a senior in, in high school, a freshman in, 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 in college, one of those two. You know. Ooh, how old were you? Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've already reaped. No, already... no, baby. I'm established <laughs> and seasoned, all right? <laughs> Um, I because I was there, him. right? And Vivian was so good in the fucking. Um, <laughs> Vivian was. Is that a Shirley Temple? Work. Vivian was so good in the improv challenge. She was so fucking good in the drag race speeches, and she was really good in the roast. All challenges that I think that she should have fucking won. So I would give it to Vivian. Vivian had three wins. Vivian is a really good fucking drag queen. Her looks, her talent. Vivian, I would have given to her the fifth spot. I mean, I love the uh, yeah. She yeah. <laughs> Roscoe's, we haven't had the chance to meet Vivian, but hopefully one day she will come grace us here. She is. Y'all should get her for the finale next week. Where's she at? What's if she doing? If you've never seen the Vivian, you have got to see her live. She okay? looks like she does on TV. Incredible. It really is and beautiful. And fast and sharp and witty and talented. Yeah, Vivian is fierce. Yeah. Too bad she's from the UK. As you know. We, no, obviously, I mean, like, I wish she was an American queen. We could work with her more here. She's really great. Do we have any more questions? Any more are we? Questions? Can we take a couple more? One more? <laughs> uh -oh. Okay, there's a question. You want to play rock, 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 paper, scissors? Next. Make it good. Rock, paper, scissors, let's go. It better be a good one. What was that? They're doing rock, paper, scissors? All right, you cut paper. What's up? What's your name? Uh, my name is Corey. Hi. Uh, Cor you, Cor Corbin? Cor Corey. Corey. Okay. Like Booker. Um, Corey Booker. Okay. <laughs> Okay, speaking of Raja, uh, she, her looks all, all season were a toot for me, and we all know that Michelle critiqued her look, but what episode and what look specifically did she get to the point where she cursed up Michelle? 
Okay. I did not say she cursed on Michelle. Did not put words well, Raja on. Told not Raja told no, us. Raja told us. No, Trinity was here last week. Remember, she told us. Oh, so what it was, it was after... When was Raja in Sally, the... Sally, Jesse, Raphael. The first challenge Raja was in the top was which one? Which... Draguation speech. So that lip sync, you know, uh, uh, after that lip sync, the next episode was the design one. That's the one that Raja um, got at Michelle for at. at. When so she, in other words, she's in the running to win, okay? We have four so of us good are. luck and don't fuck it up means don't fuck it up. Alyssa, that's so not let's a wait for her to come we back after know. the crowning. <laughs> Right over here, this lady had a question. Thank oh, you, she, baby. What's your let's name? Let's do another. Where we at? Where we at? Which one? Alyssa. Alyssa. Uh, Alyssa. Alyssa. Uh, this one right here. Come here. What's your name? My name is Callie. Um, I love you both. It's, um, but my question is for Monet, although I do want to say, Alyssa, I love you so much. Um, Monet. Well, she is on this season. I can't believe I'm up here. <laughs> my I had asked them backstage. Yes, my love. Monet, my question for you is, so when you blocked Raja like two weeks ago, was that strategy or were you just feeling bad for her because she hadn't been blocked yet? Okay, here's the thing. Because we were coming towards the end, I was like, I knew another twist was coming. Did not know what it was, right? And I was really in my head that they were going to pull some motherfucking All Stars 3 shit and people got to like vote for other people. So I was like, a way I can stay in everyone's good graces is still to just block Raja. And I really wanted to fucking block the Vivian. I really wanted to block her because she blocked me that first time. Why didn't you hurt? Because I didn't want them to come back and vote and then I would be out of vote because I blocked her. So basically it was strategy. Tell the lady. <laughs> paranoia and <laughs> strategy. you did all that, just tell the lady. Thank you, Mom. It was paranoia. I, that's why I did it. I did it. Yo, you were really giving me dance moms. For okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's dance moms. <laughs> All right, Roscoe's, did we have a wonderful time tonight? Don't forget, we're still performing tonight, starting at 10.30 will be our first set. But please make some noise for the beautiful and the talented Miss oh, Monet Exchange. And keep it going for the stunning talents of Alyssa Edwards. Monet, don't do it. Once again, both of these icons will be back at 10.30 with performances joined by Batty and myself, so stick around for that. Um, my name is Caramel DeVille. Find me on all social medias and financials at camdeville underscore official. And my name is Auntie Batty. I love y'all. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, bye, bye, YouTube. YouTube. Bye, Roscoe. We'll see you guys next week. Ah. But we'll see you guys at 10.30. Oh, with our special guest next week. Oh, yeah, next week. Guess what? We have Laganja Extranja coming. Naomi Smalls and Trinity K. Bonet. See you next week, Roscoe's. Make some noise one more time for these two beauties, y'all.